This is the beginning of a routine flight of Army training planes. These cadets are learning fast and will soon be full play. Day, isn't a mess. And the lovely evening will be sure. <sighs> Dan and Evelyn, you're half an hour late. <laughs> Thought you'd been compromised. You have absolutely no faith in the Charles. No faith. There's been a lot of truth in that I had to be careful. <sighs> the only thing that matters now is that you're here. <laughs> Stop worrying. Now, to business. To business indeed. It says you've given us a contract on a top brass, not the official, but it's supposed to be coming to this very bar at a later time. Supposedly, he has a notebook that contains vital information of the war effort. Any specifications on the method of kill? Yes, actually. Loud. Loud? Really? Absolutely. General Jameson stressed it, um, said that they want to send a message to the German troops, you know, just rattle. Seems risky. Too much so. You know, I said the same thing, but they calculated their losses, so they say it's worth it, and um, I'm not one to go against orders, so especially now. Alright, I'll do it, but it's gonna cost you a little more than usual. What's that? You might say that. Alright, my dear friend, I think you have yourself a deal. Excellent. We have the utmost faith in your abilities, Agent. Godspeed. For King and Country. They're not British, Charles. Well, it's fun to pretend. Good evening.
Zweiter Serek, Leutnant. Was bring dich in mein Büro? Wir haben ein Sperren und Frankenheit. Das, wir hatten Frankenheit von Illerator ungefragt. Das schlägt länger sein. Ich kann eigentlich ja das Verschlägen. Das wird sie schafft gar nicht werden. Du hast mein Wort. Ich will ihn in morgen tot sehen. Gut. Ruf Hafenschreier Helmut. Sag ihm, wir gehen heute an den. Guten Abend, Fräulein. I'm sorry. I don't speak German all that well. Dies wird dann zum Amerikaner sein. And why would someone speak English in France? Why not German? Or French, for that matter? Sie wissen extrem language, Leute. Halt! Die Kräfte Helmet! Und gerade wund Berlin des Mars Riss! Riss weg! Please excuse my companion. He is a little tipsy. I have corrected him, but the man continues to chatter. It's of no worries, Lieutenant, if I had caught that correctly. You did. This means second lieutenant in English and stands as a representative of my loyalty to the party. And besides you is Helmut, a soldier in my office in Paris. I speak English for no other reason than the fact that I don't speak to most people, if that would be sufficient enough to answer your question. It is, madam. It is. And what might your name be? My name is Lillian. Lillian Rose. I was displaced when France was occupied, and I haven't had the means yet to return to America. Displaced? Hmm. Do you hold a disdain for the party that has displaced you? Lillian Rose? Of course not, Leutnant. You Germans have brought stability and rid the streets of pestilence. What more could Europe ask for than your strength? Excellent answer. Fraxin, ob sein Hein Charles. Ah. 
Helmet asks, if you know of a man by the name of Charles. Charles? No, I don't believe I know anyone by that name. Why do you ask? So, no reason. <laughs> that is not true. We picked up an allied spy today in the Western Bloc. Man by the name of Charles. Put up quite a fight. Killed some of my men. My best men. But in the end, I can assure you, we put him down like the dog he was. I'm glad you did. Of course you are, Fraulein. I think we both know you are not who you say you are, Lillian Rose. We have nowhere to go, nowhere to hide, Evelyn. Into poverty and ruins, the party came back with its strength and fertility. And yet, whenever we take back what is rightfully ours, we are met with resistance. It's pitiful. As Germans, we fight for honor. We fight for conquest. What do you fight for, evil land? My whole life 